Welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you how to create an amazing carousel effect in Canva. It's super simple, and the best part is that you can use it to display your products, designs, or anything else without needing advanced editing skills. Let's get started. First, I'm opening Canva and creating a new artboard. I'll go with 1920 by 1080 pixels, but feel free to choose the size that works for you. For this tutorial, I'm creating a coffee bar style carousel effect. So I'll search for some coffee images. I think I'll go with four different ones, but you can use any images you like. These are just for demonstration purposes. Once I have my images, I'll make sure they're all the same size and place them side by side. To keep things organized, I'll select all the images, right-click, and group them together. Next, I'll zoom out a bit and stretch the group so the first image completely covers the artboard. Make sure to scale all the images together so everything stays aligned. Now it's time to add some flair. I'm adding a stretched circle shape to cover the top and bottom of the design. You can find it by searching for circle in the shapes tool. Pick any color you like. I'm going for something that complements the coffee theme. To complete the effect, I'll duplicate the stretched circle and place it at the bottom. For text, I'll choose a stylish font that suits the project and position it just right. Matching the colors of the text with the overall design really ties everything together. To fill the empty space at the top, I'll add a logo. Canva has plenty of options, so I'll find one that fits perfectly. Adjusting the spacing ensures the logo and bottom text don't feel cramped. To enhance my design further, I'm going to add more text. Trust me, using a variety of text with different fonts can really elevate your design and give it a more minimal and polished look. It's all about experimenting and playing around with the styles you like best. To keep things balanced, I'll place some text on both sides of the logo at the top. This creates a nice symmetry and adds an extra layer of detail. It's those little touches that can make your design stand out and feel more complete. As I go, I'm trying out different font styles to see what works best with the overall theme. To give it a little extra charm, I'm adding some coffee stains as decorative elements. Placing them strategically around the design makes it more visually interesting. Once everything looks good, 
I'll select all the elements and group them again. Now, here's where the carousel effect comes to life. I'll duplicate the page, then move some elements, like the coffee stains a bit, to create the illusion of movement. I'll also shift the main image to the left and reveal the second image. Then, I'll repeat the process, duplicating the page, adjusting elements, and moving to the next image. Once all the slides are ready, I'll shorten the clip length to about two seconds by dragging the timeline slider. This keeps the transition snappy and engaging. For the finishing touch, I'll add transitions. I'll right-click the first page, select Add Transition, choose Match and Move, and set it to 0.4 seconds. Don't forget to apply this to all the pages for a seamless effect. And there you have it, a beautiful animated carousel effect ready to impress. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. See you in the next video.